HT made the way. Swerve, yeah, we pulled up. Pulled a deuce in the sprite, then we go up. Got a bitch for the bros, yeah, she hold up. Oh, my what is up, guys? It's your boy Flame Skills back in your video, and today we'll be playing 60 seconds re -atomized. So basically, it's a game where there's the apocalypse and we try to survive as long as possible having 60 seconds to get all the supplies we can from our house so today we'll be playing with ted and trying the little boy difficulty because it is the first time so you know we we're not going to start with fat man or star bomber you know just chilling with little boy okay so begin adventure here we go okay so here we are guys we are ted we're in our house there are a few supplies here. I think I'm going to grab my son first because, you know, it's Timmy. We have to have Timmy with us. So, yeah, I'm just going to chill with my son. The timer is starting soon. Let's get as many supplies as we can now. Okay, so, Timmy, radio, bit of soup, and then we have to deposit it to the shelter. So, we obviously need weapons like guns and probably our family that'll be useful too but i'm not too sure actually if we should take every family member because then we have to feed them too and that's a bit annoying but you know what let's just go for it take our family take a map take a little water bottle and here we go guys checkerboard don't know how that can be useful but you never know in this game you never know what to expect so anyways grab that soup to the shelter Boom, throw it in, Ted. Thank you very much. Grab our daughter, Mary Jane, to the shelter. And we haven't got much time left, but let's just go for it. Quick, bit of water. Yeah, that's it. We have to go. We have to go. And yes, he made it. Okay, jump in. Here we go. Let's hope we can survive as long as we can. I'm not too sure, actually. It's a pretty hard game. And you never know what to expect. So yeah, let's hope. Let's hope that we can get lucky and survive for a long time. So what do we have here? I'm not sure if I took enough. Oh, oh yeah, of course I did. We've got a lot of soup, some water bottles, every single family member, weapons, radio, map, flashlight, everything we need really. Don't know what I can ask for. And we found cards bug spray and bullets in our shelter so perfect anyways plenty of water um basically in this game we've got uh we try to survive as many days as we can by giving them supplies so we can send them out to go outside with a few things like for example the gas mask the flashlight radio anything like that and we're going to try to get rescued by the military um, at around the 50th day. The next day. We perished. We didn't manage to get the game this episode. We didn't manage to beat it this episode. Psych! Day 2. Maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, meet new people. But it, there's a literally radioactivity outside. So I'm not sure why. They're talking about meeting new people. Anyways, no one's hungry for now. So we can just chill. Uh, should we send someone now? I mean, yeah, if Mary Jane is feeling excellent, let's send her out. Because, yeah, Mary Jane looks... She looks pretty good, you know. She's in good health. So I think we should send her out for now. But anyways, the kids have been all fidgety lately. They miss running around and playing games with each other in their rooms so they want to play wildly sprinting around and playing tag but what they break things bro we're literally in a nuclear apocalypse thing so no you won't play tag they not understand Two, day three. so mary jane sent her out with um how about the bug spray you stupid you never know when the bug spray will come in handy. So let's just send her with a bug spray, okay? Don't judge me. Please. Dehydration. Let's give them all some water. Yes. There we go. Someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. 
we we're scared to open it but it might be some good news right um you know what we've got weapons so anyways if it is someone bad well we can just you know try to defend ourselves so let's hope it's someone good day five. Oh no she's sick look at her face you fucking bitch why you bully me everyone ask Oh, a group of travellers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away as left. Okay, so thank you for the water. That's not bad, actually. We've got this big water bottle plus all of these little ones right here. So we don't need water for now. We're just chilling. Okay, so basically someone knocked on the door and wants to bet two soup cans in a card game and you know what why not I mean we've got five soup cans so yeah you know what let's just play with the guy let's hope we win okay so day six day six day six oh no we lost the soup cans crap I'm so dumb no one's hungry yet wow that's good this is a joyful time in sea of grief it's Timmy's birthday, so yeah, of course, give him the checkers. I mean, why not? Make Timmy, make my boy Timmy happy. Let's go. A few moments later. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. Ah, oh, that is disgusting. They felt pretty sick. There's a smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? I mean, yeah, why not? They're gonna get sick if we don't, so yes, remove it ASAP. Wait, what was that noise? What happened to our radio? How can a smell break our radio? Oh my gosh, we approached the hole cautiously and peeked inside. What happened next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazy rodent, a reptile, or whatever this crazy mad creature was, leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter whoa okay so it broke our radio give them a bit of water give them a bit of food they've been surviving for eight days now you know it's not easy we have to keep them happy not get too hungry or they're gonna starve so anyways whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature so yeah, take the gas mask, go and investigate what the hell that thing is. I hope Mary Jane comes back with a med kit, because if she doesn't, I'm not sure if we have to say bye to Dolores or not, because she is not looking too good at all. Okay. Eventually. Is Mary Jane back? Yes. Oh, but she's sick too. Oh my gosh. Oh, but look at all that soup. Thank you, Mary Jane. Oh, and the radio. Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. She came back with four soup, a radio. No, six soup, actually. No way. Mary Jane, thank you. Thank you for that six soup. Now we've got stacks of soup. See, I told you, the bug sp spray is so handy. Like, the bug spray is everything in this game. I knew it. Oh, I thought we were sending Timmy, but anyways, let's send Ted. How about, um, how about the gun, you know, big man Ted knows how to handle a gun, so let's give him that, okay? Okay, so there's a phone booth on their street, and it's ringing, so how about we send Timmy, you know, he's small, he's sneaky, he can answer that call, you know, Timmy, my boy, what was that noise? What was that noise? Oh, but Timmy's back though. That's not that's not too bad. Okay, so they answered the phone. We could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller, and they introduced themselves as survivors. Okay, so that's what's next. Await further instructions from friendly wastelanders. So we basically need to listen um, to what they say. So dehydration, starvation, dehydration, and hungry and tired. Okay. So, if there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen yes, to yes, the radio. Yes, sir. 
So, await further instructions from the military. Okay, so we need to um, await further instructions from our friends and from the military. Okay, so guys, we are currently at day 14. It's looking good for our boys, Timmy, Mary Jane, Dolores, and Big Man Ted. The Big Man Ted is gone. He's on an expedition right now. But anyways, the other day we heard a quiet knock on the door. They only found a suitcase on the doorstep and then there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Um... That kind of looks like a trap, like, come on, who would leave a suitcase in front of your door? No, we are not opening that. And we've got enough supplies. We just need two med kits for Mary Jane and Dolores. They're just looking a bit sick. I'm not sure for how long they can survive. <sighs> Day 16. Oh, mom and Ted is back, but he's looking a bit green are you sure he's not the mutated ants or something but anyways big man ted bring the gun back home a bit of soup cans and water not too bad with a boy scout book not sure how that can be useful but we currently have three members of the family that are sick so it's not looking too good for us actually i was getting kind of happy because we've got a bunch of supplies but what does a bunch of supplies get used for if they're all sick i mean look at them okay so guys we made it to day 20 and there's a little note here yesterday during charades we learned that mary jane doesn't know how to spell anti digestiblishment arianism well we don't care okay we will shelter school mary jane well, there's a nuclear apocalypse. I mean, you guys are about to die. Do you understand? Who cares about homeschooling, man? Okay, so anyways, when we opened the shelter door today, we saw a letter lying on the ground. It was a cry for help from a group of friendly survivors. So I'm pretty sure we have to share some soup with another survivor group. So why not give them some soup? We've got stacks of soup. We've got boxes and boxes. You know what? Why not? Okay, so the army is on the radio again. They said they'll be scouting the neighborhood and need to find clear signs of survivors that are still alive. Yes, send the cards. We don't need them anyway, so tell the army that we're here. And that's it. It's just Mary Jane starving. I mean, everything is fine. It's just that everyone needs a first aid kit, even like by Ted screaming bloody murder. What the hell? is going on in our shelter i'm not too sure honestly i am not okay okay wait 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 give me a second is it me or timmy the mvp my boy timmy didn't bring a thing back home he just broke the gas mask are you serious <sighs> should have off trusted timmy you know he's too young for a while. Okay, so anyways, Dolores was furious when Mary Jane revealed she was going to go on a date with some bandit boy. No, I said it already. It's a nuclear apocalypse, okay? So why would you make a stupid note, like, honestly? Uh, what? What happened to Mary Jane? Like, is she going crazy or something? Mary Jane begged and pleaded, but Dolores just fumed. What if the boy knew where they live? Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking. But what happened to Mary Jane? Mary Jane went nuts. These nuts. Mary Jane is not doing too good in this episode. I mean, it's the first one, but it is not a good start for Mary Jane. You know what? Let's send big man Ted. You know, we have to trust our man Ted. So how about give him, how about give him the gun again? Because last time he came back home with the gun and he brought home some good stuff. So how about give him the gun? Hopefully, he you know what guys, it's really hard. It's a hard decision to make, but I've made up my mind. Mary Jane is diseased. She is crazy. She is dehydrating and starving. So you know what? I decided not to give her supplies today. You stupid. 
I know, I know, it's really mean to Mary Jane. But anyways, we have to, you know, face it. She's going to die anyway, so why spend all our supplies on someone useless? I mean, I know it's mean, you know, we had to do it. That's how it is in this game. We have to make sacrifices. But anyways, a sleazy looking trader wants to trade something with us. No, no, no. We need those supplies. We really need them so that we can survive. Psych! That's the wrong number! <laughs> Okay, so anyways guys, day 30, Timmy is dehydrating and starving. Mary Jane is doing literally the same thing, but even worse. She is crazy, she is diseased, she is fatigued. I mean, I don't know what we can do with Mary Jane at this point. So I think we're just going, going to let her die. Just like I said before, Dolores is starving, but other than that everyone is kind of just chilling we can't send anyone outside because ted is outside for now and yeah that's kind of it a band of raiders are at our doorstep they demand we let them in this is no game we either yield or we fight back there's no middle ground here oh no we send ted out with a gun ah oh, this is so stupid you can say bye to someone if it's Dolores we're dead and yes we are it is the end and there they are the raiders have come in looking all bloody and nasty and ah oh, we're dead anyways there it is guys we're done there it is that was the first episode of 60 seconds unfortunately we perished we didn't manage to get the game this episode we didn't manage to beat it this episode but we did survive 32 days with five water bottles consumed and three out of three successful expeditions which isn't bad and 11 items brought back from expeditions okay so anyways there it is guys that's it for this episode i really hope that you enjoyed if you want me to do more 60 seconds video just drop a comment down below because I really love seeing what you guys think about these videos that I make. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video.